Okay, stage two of the resin shop's done. I've now glazed the unit, the window, which I'm really pleased with. Uh, so I've decided to get rid of the stable door. I really need the light in there. Um, I'm gonna go for an inward opening door. Something to match this, which I'll put in another build shortly. And let's have a look how far we got. So I've moved an old shelf unit that I've got, um, that I had storage just for mixing up the resins and storing them, which are all down here. Um, I've put this single French cleat. I don't want loads of stuff in here, just a shelf with some off cuts. This is an off cut from the round ply table that I made. Um, and then I've been experimenting with a little, with a table to sit at. I'm gonna possibly make myself a stool or something. I just wanna be able to sit here with some light. Um, this is some stuff I've veneered on. It's like a bit like a four micro. I was just thinking if you were spilling resin, it would be a good surface to wipe down. I just edged it with some oak that I had left over. Uh, and then my layup table, I'll put a link into this. It's quite good. I've got to be honest, it's not quite as flat the material. I'm going to have to do a new bracing under the table. So it's this table is incredibly solid. Uh, it's made from one sheet of ply, obviously not the top. The cuts on the legs. I didn't do a build on this. It's just very simple. But one sheet of ply will make this whole table, which is a full sheet size, eight by four. So this is K sheet. I've got it from the same company as the stock board. Um, it's not perfectly flat, but what it's really good for is um, getting resin off. So anywhere you've stuck resin on, um, you can just flick it off the next day and it doesn't stick. And what I've been doing as well with some glue ups, if it's really sticky stuff, just spraying a bit of this on first, a dusting of this release. Um, and it just, just means that I've not got a sheet of ply with loads of stuff on it. You can actually sand it, it does cut. You can see cut marks on the standing knife, it's fine. Uh, and I do like it. I might go with something a bit different later on the top. Um, just see how, how well it lasts. But I just wanted something different to ply so it's quicker to wipe down. And then the floor area, which I'm not quite finished because I run out of varnish. Um, just sheets of ply. And the idea here is that that's... This is dead level, this area, for glue ups and stuff. So I can actually put stuff on here to um, put pieces on here to put together, construct dead flat better than, and doesn't scratch things like the concrete floor in my workshop. And just a plain black ground wall, just to take pictures of finish, finished pieces. And then the last job before the winter, uh, building job in here is gonna be to insulate this whole uh, roof and tap into behind here where my compressor is, there is a boiler for this building. I need to get some sort of radiator in here just to keep the heat around 20 if I'm doing resin pours in the winter. And I managed to finish all the boxing in up here. So I'm not quite sure whether this workshop is gonna be a workshop or a bird watching hide. I mean, look at the action out here. Okay, so that's it for the shop update. I've got a little five minute speed it up version if you wanna see how some of this was put together. Until the next one, thanks for watching. Video on that. Getting the wall painted there by my wife.